fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense, figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. division has been among the promotion strongest and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound pound fighters in the world and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media to his appearances. He does everything right. He's a champ for a reason. It all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight game. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup here tonight. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's right. the third man in the octagon right. tonight. All right, so here we go from Team Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world, most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM brand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the Team Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. International Fight Week to championship fights all across the board. You come to T-Mobile. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Beat him to the punch. Beat her. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Just misses there with the left. Now he lands a solid punch. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. And he lands it. but the double jab gets through. Nice left hand by him. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. He's kicked to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, Superman punch! We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Just missed with the left there. Counter punch is good by Lee. Oh, nice jab, nice pick. There by Lee. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Great punch. Two minutes. 
minutes remain in the round. Flipped him with the jab. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And they clinch. Look for him now to drop to a single leg to try to secure a takedown from his clinch position. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Straight punch, useful. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, and kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Beautiful head kick lands from this guy. 20 seconds left. Beautiful strike. Oh. Final seconds here in round one. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Oh, brutal knee to the body. What a round. You're losing this fight. I need you to get your head back in the game. Remember the training. You need to push the face down. You are better than this dude. Hands up. Chin. All right, let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fights. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. <clears throat> Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice punch there by Lee. All right, now touches him with that left hand. Well, as we pull up the numbers at the bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Back and forth we go. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Three minutes to go. Heavy kick downstairs. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. 
This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start of mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks right now. He's in, digging his shit into this guy's thigh. Two minutes now to go round two. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, we've got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight, but we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Leg kick now. Well, don't get mad, get even. He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally. Oh! Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. kick there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Good job blocking that shot. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Oh, he hurt him bad. He's got him hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Give me that inside kick to the leg now. Good work, guys. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Let's go. Nice knee.
Ooh, he lands a kick to the leg. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Just nice. over three minutes now to go. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Taking a lot of body shots as well. Landed that one. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice target change for him attacking the body. Two minutes here to go in round three. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have gotten the fight finished at that time. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though they're, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Nice. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. There's that body shot. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. His nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. 15 seconds to go. Fighter lands a kick now. Right where he wants to be, in the clinch. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Back and forth we go. Oh. 
also the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Oh, that body shot hurt him. Inside leg kick is there by Lee. Under three minutes, not a going around. Oh man, you gotta credit him for continuing. Oh! oh! Trying to finish this fight! Oh, nice elbow right to the head. Big ground and pound. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. Well, the fighter certainly wants to stay in it. It's been a great fight thus far. And it looks like, at least for now, he's going to be allowed to stay in this fight. We'll see how long he can last. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely. And I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do that. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, good block there. Sidekick. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the night. But that's exactly what you expect, right? Took such a bad outcome early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Lee's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. you got to think the ringside position is going to get called in here in a moment. Oh, he's wobbled now. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Checks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing.